Hello friends, welcome back to lmsdaily.com. In today's video, we will see how you can add the drag and drop into text question in your Moodle course. The drag and drop question is pretty useful whenever you would like to test the student's understanding about a certain topic quickly and easily. So let us see how you can add the drag and drop into text question in your Moodle quiz. First of all, you need to make sure that you are logged in to the Moodle as a teacher and then navigate to the course where you would like to add the question. When you are on the course page, you need to go to the question bank. And whenever you are there on the question bank, you can click on this create a new question here. Now you will see the list of available question types on your Moodle platform. It might be different for you depending on the configuration by your site admin so you need to select this drag and drop into text so you will see a description on the right panel which says that missing words in the question text are filled in using drag and drop and let us click on this add button for the time now now on the question editing window you can first of all change the uh, category for this question in the second field you can define a question name here for this question so let me say that i would like to keep it as an english language it will not be displayed to your students it will be just for your question bank and it will be displayed only to the staff members like teachers and admin in the question text you can define your actual question Kindly note that the formatting needs to be defined in a way which I would just explain to you right now. So let me say that the question is that Johnny wants to and here I would like to put a bracket or a fill in the blanks kind of thing uh, where the students has to drag the correct answer from the bottom. So I would like to give it a blank space here. For that you need to use two square brackets and give it a number like one and then put the two closing square brackets. So here I would like them, uh, Johnny wants to play with his or her friends and he wants, sorry, he wants to do with them. So in the third option, I would like to give them like running or swimming, any option. For the question status, you can keep it as draft whenever you are not completed with the question. Uh, you can keep it as a draft. It is advisable from our side. Then in the next option, you can put it as a, change the default mark for this question. And in the general feedback, you can provide your feedback for attempting this question. Now you can give your answers in the choices section here. So for the choice one, you can give your answer. Let me say that playing and for the second option i would like to give his and for the third option i would like to give the correct answer as a swimming but let me make this swimming option to group b so what will happen is all the answers here in the group b will appear along with each other so let me say that playing and his will appear in one of the drop down menus and swimming will appear in the other drop down menu and for confusing the students let me give the other options as running and I will add it to group B and here I would like to add A play for this group A and I would like to also show her for the group A and whenever you are done with all the options you can choose the default options for the combined feedback and the multiple tries and click on this save changes button here now we will take a preview of this question and see how it will look alike for our students so i will go to this question and click this edit icon and now click on the preview button here so here you can see that the options for the group b are shown in a different color options for the group a are shown in the different color so that student will have a clear understanding what can go in which field so let me say that i would like to bring this here and I can also bring this here so you can see that they are pretty good options here so you can just simply drag it here and put it here 
so this is how you can add the drag and drop into text question type in your moodle course if you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon for our youtube channel thank you very much for watching this video